guys welcome to my channel my name is Tammy D if you're just seeing me here for the first time please don't forget to like subscribe comment below so to husband you know i did a video about how we only knew each other for six months and we've been married for 19 years so actually now we've known each other we met in december of 2000 and we married in july of 2001 so we've known each other for 20 years this is actually the anniversary of us knowing each other for 20 years and we've been married for 19 so today we're going to be talking about how we make our marriage work after 19 years he has his own 10 points i have my own 10 points so he's gonna start you want to start love so the way we do it is he will talk i'll do one you will do one and then i'll do the other i'll do my own okay well hi everyone yeah so what's your first point I communicate communication i also communication. have communication here communication oh, so that's an uh, overlap yeah so communication your... was quite we, our communication is 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 getting is a lot better uh, than the first i tend to talk a lot uh, amazingly even though she has the channel um, <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't like this she wasn't like this at all she was very quiet um uh, you're very quiet you were you're still relatively still quiet really. <laughs> um, i do more of the talking in the relationship which is which is fine i'm happy to do that and so but communication is very important so my first point is overlooking overlooking certain things you know like if you want to <laughs> if you're married to someone like when you come into the relationship you don't really know each other so like i did one video about pet peeves in marriage right so that one is really a, an eye-opener for me because there are certain things leaving stuff everywhere you know the, we have we grew up from different backgrounds right so He's used to having his stuff one way. I'm used to having stuff <laughs> one way. So, for me, what has really helped me is instead of whining, 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 why did you leave your shoes here? Why did you... I just have learned over the years to kind of overlook and anything I... Like this morning, I was still telling him about the trash. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's always good to overlook certain things, like minor issues. Like, don't be too nitpicky and start criticizing everything. If there are certain things that won't hurt you, that won't kill you. So rather than go on and on about that, just learn to overlook. What's your next point? Okay, <laughs> getting knowledge. And I learned that from our, one of the sermons that I've We listened to a number of sermons in our church. And getting knowledge is what would... So knowing what she likes and what she doesn't like. Very yeah, important. there you go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> very important. Yeah. Um, what you so like, your next point is knowledge getting knowledge getting yes. knowledge getting That's knowledge very, very about good. about everything getting knowledge about your wife what she likes what she doesn't like um do. basketball <laughs> yeah <laughs> lebron yeah, james LeBron, right lebron james so, i like lebron so my second point is forgive forgiveness that is so key i don't know if you have forgiveness right already but my second point is forgiveness you know there's yeah. some times that you no, there's nobody that won't offend you, especially if, you know, you living together, you're doing everything together. There are some times that you get upset with each other. Really? You just have to <laughs> oh, God. You get upset. Sometimes it can be very, very annoying, like you're boiling, but you just have to forgive because is it really worth it? You know, when you really love someone, you know, and the person hurts your feeling and all that stuff, you just have to learn to forgive so yeah that's my second okay, point we'll so what's your third time. one the third one i think laughing and, and laughing that's together. a good one yeah. laughing together laughing yeah together. we sit together yeah. and we watch program together we laugh together we, we crack, joke we crack yeah. our, ourselves up having fun, fun you know having fun with the kids just you know finding that place of comfort where you can yeah where you can laugh laugh at each other you know don't take life too seriously laugh laugh at each other's joke so my next one he already mentioned communication that's communication is key i'm the type of person i like people tell i don't like people keeping secrets for, from me i don't ask too many questions 
I mind my business. I'm not nosy. I'm not nosy as in going through people's stuff to find out. Am I nosy about going through people's yeah. stuff? To, no, I don't. I believe that, no, I think you should give people space, which is another point I have. But communication is key, you know, which I've learned from him. He will always, like, if I give him the silent treatment, he wants to talk about the issue, what's going on. He will come and ask me what's going on and what's going on, you know. But there's already a right time for me to talk. So now we're going to your number four point. Um... The fourth point I will say is enjoy each other's company. Mm, that's nice. Um, I think we, we enjoy our company a lot. We're comfortable in our home. Yeah. We really always want to be at home. I, he I wants always, to be at home. Yeah, I want I to be on the beach. Wants to, let's go out, <laughs> let's do some. Yeah, but we, you know. We're, we're not party people. We're not no, like party not people really. like that. We are not people so, that want yeah. to go to parties every time, going to parties or clubbing or yeah. nothing. We don't. We never really did any of those yeah. things, you know. When there's a family gathering here and there, like family, we'll, stuff, go, to, we'll, we'll go. go out, but it's yeah. not a. We, it's not, not a, like we have to. We go have to so we're be comfortable out. in our yeah. home. <laughs> but I like going to restaurants. And sometimes. I cook as well. Okay, you say so. I cook. <laughs> I cook now. <laughs> Next point. Yeah, I cook. Next okay. point. My next point is keeping our issues to ourselves, avoiding yeah. third-party yeah. intervention. That is very, very important. That's something that has kept us. You know, there are some times when if somebody's life is in danger, you need to get help. You know, that's different. You can't keep that one. If you have somebody, if you're an abusive relationship, someone is beating you up, get help. But if it's minor issues, we try to work them out ourselves. We don't. We try not to involve Nobody family. Really we don't want to involve really parents, really. friends, getting into our business and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We work things out ourselves and we've learned over the years to be able to work. And I think that is key. Mm -hmm. As long as nobody's in danger, oh, that's very important. If somebody's mm -hmm. in danger, you need to get help. Or mm -hmm. if there's some issues that you need counseling, you need to go for counseling. But if it's just minor issues like, oh, you did this mm -hmm. to me, you did this to me, you offended me this way, that one. We try to keep it to ourselves. Because if you, if I keep telling my mom all the bad things he does, when I forgive him and I move on, my mom st will still have that, you know, issue in her head. She might still be thinking about it. But we've forgiven each other and we've moved on. So that's why you don't really need to involve family in all your you know, marriage issues. Okay. So what's okay. your next point? I'm not looking at this point. Uh, one, be practical and do the basics well. Be practical. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, well, it's business. Very, very be important. practical. So what do you mean um, by being practical? She likes everywhere to be. You like everything to be very. <laughs> I'm free. a neat freak. I'm time. a neat freak. <laughs> so it's not just like there's a way my dining has to, my chairs have to be tucked in. My kitchen has to be clean. The bed has to be made. I'm like. What do they call those yeah. people? Excessive, is it? I don't think so. I I'm don't not think excessive. excessive. I just but think he likes want to. it. <laughs> we don't, I think it's know, a woman. We don't thing. mind if it's a bit, you know. <laughs> I don't want any. So now that we know, after 20 years, um, just do it. <laughs> Just make My sure that, brother. you know, when we come downstairs and we see that the kitchen is nice, especially the kitchen area, she wants to make it. So we make sure that it's clean. Yeah. I do the washing up. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> it does, she's I'm happy to do that. She does the cooking and the washing up. Everybody's yeah, happy. Yeah, we're happy. He, yeah. I cook. He does dishes. Because when I, I and I clean as I cook, now, so. the kids, when it's time to do dishes, they will start they to complain and, and argue. It's not my turn, it's my turn. But he will just go do and do the dishes. And I appreciate, I appreciate that. But then when he does the dishes and he leaves everything over, I'll say, you know what? Don't do the dish. I'll do it myself. But now he knows. He's very, very considerate. I give yeah. that to him. He's a very, very considerate guy. Yeah. Okay. So what was that? Number? So do the basics well. Do the basics and, well. And be practical. And be practical. Okay. Yeah. So my do next chores. point do is... Chores. Do your chores. Yeah. Do your chores. My next point is... Five is being on the same page raising kids. You know, being on the same page raising kids also helps because, you know, sometimes these kids, they can be very manipulative. If they see that mommy has one, mommy, this, that, they play you against each other. Mm -hmm. So a way to prevent that is if you guys are on the same page ra yeah. raising kids. Yeah. Like, in marriages, one person is stricter than the other, right? But if a child has done something wrong and you want to correct them, 
you shouldn't be one-sided because the kids will capitalize on that and they will play you against each other so that's my fifth point being but, on the same I, page with yeah kids. so just to sit on them for the grades <laughs> Box very small. <laughs> this is the <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just kind of like, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I bring the smoothness around yeah. to just make, but we're all, on, we're, we're all, um, yeah. She just brings the usual way we came, we got getting we, spoon. we got <laughs> Nigeria, which is just get your grades, seize the phone, no going out. But we try to bring some balance, but it's fine. Mm. Um, but they get the results, so yeah. the results are there, the results are showing. yeah. So we're on the same page, yeah. Um, Basically. We have a different perspective. We have a different style, but, but fine. the end goal well, okay is the same. That. What's your next point? So the next one is understanding, okay. which is now comprehending the knowledge. I'm kind of pulling it together. Mm -hmm. um, I, I always just want peace. Um, mm -hmm. And you want peace too. Mm -hmm. And I think if we have peace in the world, make it conducive. Hey, remember all these things all they all mm. come together over, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with the points, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want peace in the home, you apply, uh, comprehend, comprehend that information that you receive. So mm. let's apply it. Let's bring it to our home. Let's make it up. So I try to, that's something that you should do. So yours is peace, right? Your six Understanding, Understanding, which is the knowledge uh, that you have acquired. Oh, okay. All right. So my sixth point is having the same faith, you know? Yeah. Having the same faith really helps us. We hear the same message. He sends me messages. We read the Bible, we pray together, Proverbs, we share Proverbs and read. So that kind of helps us because the Bible tells us that can two work together unless they agree. So having the same faith, reading the same word of God, studying the same one, you know, really helps us in our marriage. You know, because if you want to impact into the lives of the children, and you want to teach them about God, you have to be in the same on the same page in terms of your faith. Mm -hmm. So having the same yeah. faith that se yeah. tells us to that tells husband loves your wife, wife submit, and all that. So that way he's loving, I'm submitting, <laughs> and then we're cool, right? Yeah. All right. What's your next spot? Your next point. Um, I think on that faith, I think you having just, the same faith. Yeah, I think it's very important. But we bring the, again different perspective. Um, much better prayer partner mm -hmm. prayer partner partners. and reading so i tend, i tend to take the notes mm -hmm. I, I tend to have saved the notes in my head i mean, i <laughs> he take the, everything i take, I take the notes i summarize it we share we share with other mm -hmm. people as well um, yeah but just practicalizing uh, everything we've learned and just mm -hmm. bringing fun into into marriage too so so application for me it's very important as well application, and application of what you have learned that is so yeah. good yeah because yeah. it's different for you to study the word of god and if you don't yeah. apply it yeah. you know it doesn't make sense because some people know the bible from genesis to revelation but they are not applying yeah. it so you have to learn to apply it yeah and we don't feel like these are preaching praise the lord somebody Amen. <laughs> no, no, i don't know i don't think it's preaching <laughs> i think um so my yeah. next point all right my next point number seven my next point is patience patience you know there are some times that your patience will be tested in marriage you know you just have to be patient there are some things there are sometimes you know you just have to calm down <sighs> calm down now. calm down he even says so in first corinthians 13 which i i taught the kids today you know he said love is patient love is kind you know mm. if you just have to be patient with each other and he he's a very very patient i'm not i i think i learned more about patience from him mm. because i'm not i i wasn't really a very patient person but after a while you know after as you grow older you have to learn to be patient right yeah, yeah. you have to be patient you have to be patient what's very your next important. point <laughs> <laughs> what's your next point love making love making I think, yeah Kids watch this channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Everybody can watch it. But it's practical. It's practical. Yeah, married. at least we are married, so we can Very talk about important. it. So I think okay. that that was also that was. So you are saying love making is also important. something that has helped yeah. in the marriage. Yeah. Okay, Very okay. Important. Mm. Let's move on. <laughs> I don't want to dwell on that. But it's true, it's, it's important. important. Intimacy. Intimacy, intimacy is okay, very, very important. Maybe you should have 
intimacy is very very important in marriage so there's not it's not so, we are married there's nothing to be yep. to be shy about you it's part of your marriage you very have to do important. it do it often <laughs> your marriage <laughs> I know men yeah, must always talk about that. Women shy no, really, from that. No, I, men don't, talk I don't about want to dwell on. I think what I just wanted to share is one that you don't, you don't um, use it as a punishment. You don't use it as, as a, a punishment. punishment. You, don't, you don't use it as a weapon. And two is, um, you. I also we have to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. right? We have to keep it fresh in our marriage. So mm -hmm. in, our, in our marriage, mm -hmm. so just keep. And it's it's about. You know, not flowers, but doing doing things that you just say, ah, this man is a good man. <laughs> so if I want anything, make sure I'm cleaning the kitchen, I'm cleaning the bathroom. So you are really you are cleaning the kitchen because you want not something. Because of that, but it's all part of it's all part of making sure that, it's, that it's, you're you know you're happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good point. So my next point, my eighth point is not taking each other for granted. This is so important. Don't take each other for granted. We that's one thing that has helped us, I guess. I don't know how to really explain it, but you know, not taking each other for granted, respecting yeah. each other, putting someone putting don't devalue each other in front of other people. You know, that's also very important. Cherish each other, compliment yeah. each other. My husband is the best thing ever right right <laughs> <laughs> so what's your next point <laughs> um, so i think you've said a couple that you said just don't disrespect um be each other's that champion one. i think that champion is very important mm. um that's my point and over a period of a marriage mm. there are you have to, we can't all do a thing at the same time so there are times when it's it's your time it for the kids mm -hmm. so being each other i mean this youtube stuff i mean you just started it this year and you know we're like, i just started you know, okay, i started putting you know, you know i used to record my daughter's okay. videos over a while i just post videos but, this is the but now i just started time. making videos in october so, so you know I'm october you know so it. i just said what do i have to give to the world yeah but we have wisdom good. share your wisdom share your knowledge you know make someone's life better impact each other one way or the other yeah. you know if it's only one person that can be impacted yeah. if it's one person's marriage that can be fixed if because i love love i love relationships and if you've watched any of my videos any of my videos i do a lot of stuff on this channel i do hair i do cooking i do wisdom i do weight loss i do a lot so this is one thing i'm passionate about building helping people build relationships so mm -hmm. This is what I'm doing here today. Good. All right. Good. So the next one, did you do your number nine? Yeah. Okay. So my number nine is giving each other space. <laughs> you know, that one, I know uh, when you are married or you think you are gone body, but there are times when you need space, which I appreciate. And I have learned to give each, give each other space. Maybe it's to do your own thing. Maybe, you know, just time alone you're alone. my me time i like sometimes i like my me time some people think oh there's nothing like me time but as long as you are doing me time it's not like you're hanging out and doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing but giving each other space is something that i've learned to do if he wants to do his work like even in when you start to work from home during covid a lot of people you'll be stepping on each other's toes but there are times when you need to give each other space to be themselves and to even to self-develop maybe pray up um you can do like your alone time with god you need time to pray you need time to sit down and meditate and think about your life set goals for yourself you know you can set family goals which is good but you have to set your own goals and that's when you have your me time self-development time all right do you what do you think about me time well uh, that, that's my own last that's my number 10 which is spend time um on, on your marriage, yeah, on your marriage. So, okay. so what do I need to do? We spent some time to talk about it. So, what do I need to do differently? And I keep hearing the same. What do you need to every, do differently? Every every year. So you have to just continue to improve, to improve communication, right? share love, be uh, open, care, be open, be transparent. Tell each other you. We are really good at telling each other we love yeah, each other. Yeah. You know, we always tell each other we love each other. Going on dates, freshing. 
you know going on romantic dates going on romantic vacations yeah. making time for each other you know you've done your alone time mm -hmm. you know but you have to make time to nurture like when you're in a marriage you see grass green on the other side of you know why yeah. because they nurture you know that marriage needs to be nurtured you things just don't happen you have to work at, at it for me Get, if I want something done, I chase everybody down to get it done. So the same thing is with your marriage. If you want to set up a date, if you want to. So what do you think about planning um, romantic events? Plan. <laughs> what do you think about planning roma romantic to... events for, for us? What do you so, think about so that? So we tend to go out, you know, make the effort. But I'm mm. talking more, you know, vacation for next yeah. year. You need so to make the needs. effort. We mm. need to make the effort you to jump set up, case. jump on it and book the time, yeah. book the calendar, <clears throat> this day, pick the date yeah. and let him know that this is the date we are going. Or if it's this the husband that likes to plan it, plan it, pick the date and everything. Mm -hmm. All right. What's your, did you finish your points? Yeah, that's okay, it. Okay, that's it. Yeah. All right, guys. So those are our 10 10 nuggets from a male perspective and a female perspective, although there was some overlap. So the overlap were forgive, communicate. What else did laugh we overlap? A laugh a lot. Be laugh a lot. Be each other's space. friends. Be comfortable in your space. Set two issues get within. Knowledge. Within. Yeah. Get knowledge. Get, get knowledge. knowledge. Read books. You know, read books and then couples retreat. Couple retreat. Couple retreat. It can even be Zoom. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like physical because of COVID. A lot of Couples retreat were actually done, and then we take notes, we share notes, we talk about it, we discuss issue, issues, and then we nurture. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our video today. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post my when I post new videos. See you in my next video.